Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. In the previous module, we learned how to install CodeBlock software. And in this module, we will see how to create a simple Hello World program. Let's get started. So for now, I'm opening this CodeBlock software. And it'll take around 5 to 10 seconds. Now you can see here, CodeBlock's editor ID, integrated development environment. So now it's taking around, yeah. Now we'll be creating our first C program. And I created a folder in my computer where I'll be writing my C programs. So you can see here. So I created a folder in my D drive and I created a folder called my C programs. So you can also create a folder in your computer and uh, so that we can be organized. So all the programs that I'm going to create in this course, I will be adding, I'll be saving it in this folder. So now I'll be saving it like one hello world.cs and two, three, four, five. So I'll be saving all the programs in this. So you can also create the same way while you proceed with this tutorial series, right? So now let's go back here and I'll create, I'll click on this file, new, empty file, and I will save this. Now you can see here as of now, it is untitled. You can see here it's showing as untitled. Now I will save it. Click on the save button and I will save it in D drive, my C programs. I will save it as one dot hello world. So the reason why I'm giving this number one as there's the first program that we are creating. So down the line we'll create two dot, three dot, four dot. And keep in mind that the file extension, the file should end with the dot C because we are doing C programs. So all C programs should end with an extension of dot C. If you're working on C++, you can end with .cpp. Now, let's save it as one.hellowell.c, click on save. Now, what I'll do is I'll write simple first hello world, hello world program in C. So first you have to write include. So you can see here the editor is helping me with the IntelliSense. So code blocks is suggesting me. So what I can include, the, the moment I type like include, it is suggesting include stdio.h that's a header file and void main and I'll write here printf and I'll write here hello world now so this is the first C program that we have written so where we have included a header file this is called a header file so in C language a header file will have a list of predefined methods that are provided by inbuilt C predefined functions. So printf is a method that will print on the console window and this method is present in stdio.h. So C language has already provided so many functionalities that we can reuse. So let's take a simple example. Let's open MS Paint. So we have some header files like stdio.h, math.h, string.h, graphics.h. There are so many header files. So let's take a simple example. stdio.h standard input output header file. We also have conivo.h, console input output header file. We also have math.h, math related functions will be there in this, and so many other header files which we'll be seeing down the line. So the standard one or most frequently used one is stdio.h and which is having a method called printf. Now, so if you want to use method printf, you need to include this header file stdio.h. Now see here, I'm done with this, include stdio.h and main method is a place where program execution starts and printf, hello world. So let's save this. And before you run the code here, you need to build it. Now I'll click on this build. Now, once you build the code, you can see if there are any errors or see here, there are no errors, zero errors, zero warnings, and you can execute the code. Let's run the code. Now you can see here, hello world is the output. Now remember one thing before you uh, click on this run button, you need to build it. Otherwise the previous compiled code will be executed. What I mean is, let's take I'm adding here printf. Again hello world. Now I've written two times hello world. Now if I directly click on execute, it will, it, if I directly click on the run button, so it will still show hello world only once because I have not built it. So now, just keep in mind, whenever you're making change for the code, save it 
and you just need to build this code once again build build so the moment you build it it will recreate the exe file and now if you click on execute you can see the output now in case if you're not seeing the output if you're using any other editor so when you run the code it might display the output and suddenly it will disappear so what we can do is you can also write here one more thing called include coniwo.h and coniwo stands for console input output and you can use here getch so we'll talk about this getch later and for now what is the use of getch is it's used to read a character from the user now for now although we are not uh, we don't need to read any character from the user so the moment you let me save it and build it and now I'll run the code now you can see that it's printing the output and the cursor is blinking here so it's waiting for the character so that it's waiting for a character input from us so so we can see the output now so we'll discuss about this get ch later why do we need to use it and more about this later sections now also what I'll be doing is all the code files that I'm typing I'll be saving it in github so that you can download it you can uh, reuse the code or you can refer the code that I'm typing it now now I'll, I'll save this file I'll go to github website that I have created an account and I'll upload a file let me click on upload and I'll just upload this file so I'll go to D drive my C programs I'm uploading this hello.c now if now I click on this commit changes now how you can get this file is now all you have to do is you need to go to this URL so github.com slash magnad slash C so this is the URL that you need to refer let me copy this and what I'll do now is let me open notepad and paste this URL so this is the URL that you need to refer https colon slash slash github.com slash magnat slash c now once you navigate to that URL see here now so now you can see that hello world.c is here which I just uploaded 35 seconds back so as and when I proceed with the course I'll be adding the C files in this so you can go to this link and you can download the files so just to summarize in this module we have created a simple hello world program and we learned that stdio.h is a header file and printf is a method contained in it conivo.h is another header file so getch is present in it and similarly we have a header file called include math.h as well so math all math related functions let's take a power of a function so like you want to find 4 power 3 now what you can do is you can write here printf I can write pow 4 comma 3 so now click on this now you might be knowing the output 4 power 3 is 4 4 is 16 16 4 64 now I'm printing the value uh, I'm printing the value pow of 4 comma 3 so now let's run the code remember before you run the code you need to save it you need to build it and and then so let's see here incompatible argument type here so I'm getting an error incompatible type for the argument one printf so what I can do is I can save this into a variable and then I can print it so or I can write like this percent f or comma so we'll talk about this percent f later because it is written in a floating value we need to use percent f and this value will be printed here now let's save it and build it now you can see there are no errors and let's run this code now you can see here I'm getting the output 64 so what we learned now is what we learned now is so we have these header files which are having so you can see here stiv.h, conev.h, math.h is a header file that's having methods like related to mathematics right and we'll talk about this uh, percent f later okay so for now you just need to understand till this point of time okay so thank you and see you in the next lecture